Welcome back! It's Miss Kristen here with the Orange County Library System, and I'm so glad you've decided to join me for another story time online. As always, we're going to use those five early literacy activities for our story time today, and those five activities are reading, writing, talking, singing, and playing. We know when we use those five activities, we're going to have a lot of fun and we're going to start instilling those great pre-reading skills in our little ones. So let's say hello to each other and then we'll get started. Get your hello hands out. Are you ready? Here we go. Hello everybody and how are you? How are you? How are you? Hello everybody and how are you? How are you today? Good job! How are you feeling today? Maybe you're feeling happy. Maybe you're feeling sad. Maybe you're feeling a little bit bored today. Well, that's okay. We all have those feelings. They come and they go. But I know that by the time we're done with story time together, you're going to be doing great. So let's get warmed up with our open shut them song and see if we can add a new verse this week. Are you ready? Here we go. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Put them in your lap, lap, lap. Creep them, creep them, creep them, creep them. Right up to your chin, chinny chin. Open up your little mouth, but do not let them in. Did you get your fingers away? Good job, very good. All right, we're gonna use our fingers and now we're gonna walk them, ready? Walk them, walk them, walk them, walk them. Right out to your toes, toes, toes. Let them fly up in the air and pop you on the nose, nose, nose. Did you find your nose and your toes? Good job, everyone, well done. All right, I think we're all warmed up and we're ready to go. Now, do you see what letter we're going to use for our story time today? That's right, we're going to use the letter S. S, this is the letter S on my board. We'll see here is a big uppercase S and a lowercase S right next to it. We make an uppercase and a lowercase s in the same way. We take our finger and we curve around and then we come around to the middle and curve around the other way. It's two little curves going in different directions. Let's do that again with our lowercase s. Ready? Curve around and then curve the other way. That's how we make an s. The name of this letter is S, and the sound it makes is S, S, I like that sound, it's really fun. Let's put that S sound at the beginning of some words. Are you ready? S, 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 sun. Let's do it again. S, snowflake, S, snake. <gasps> and space. That's right. We're going to use our s sound to go to outer space today. Does that sound exciting? It sure does to me. I love outer space. Everything about it, planets and stars, traveling on a rocket ship, it all sounds like so much fun to me and I hope you'll enjoy it too. So let's use our S sound one more time and get ready for an outer space adventure. Space. Okay, let's add some new signs to all the signs we've learned together. And our sign for space looks like this. We're going to take our pointer finger and point at all of the outer space that's above us in the sky. Did you like that? Space or outer space. Either way, it's the same sign. Now, how do we get to outer space? That's right, we use a rocket. So to sign the word rocket, 
We're gonna take two fingers. We're gonna wrap them around each other. This makes the letter R. Then the R makes our rocket, and we're gonna put it at the launch pad and then shoot it up into space. Rocket ship, rocket. Our rocket will take us to space. And when we're in space, we might see the moon. So curve your hand around, kind of like it's a quarter moon, and put it up into the sky. Moon, and we might see some stars. That's right, take your two pointer fingers, slide them together, and point at all the stars in outer space. Are you ready? We're going to outer space. We're going to outer space. It's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to outer space. The rocket will take us there. The rocket will take us there. It's going to be a lot of fun. The rocket will take us there. We'll see the moon and stars. We'll see the moon and stars. It's going to be a lot of fun. We'll see the moon and stars. We're going to outer space. We're going to outer space. It's going to be a lot of fun. Let's go to outer space. Good job, everyone. Put on your space helmets and let's go on a space adventure. Okay, now before we go on our outer space adventure, we have to get to outer space, don't we? That's right. Let's think, how should we get to outer space? Do you think we could take a bicycle to outer space? No, I don't think that will work. Let's see, maybe a choo-choo train could get us to outer space. What do you think? No, a choo-choo train isn't quite right either, is it? Hmm, maybe a sailboat would take us to outer space. Do you think a sailboat would work? Yeah, I don't think a sailboat will work either. What's that? We need to take a rocket ship that's right! We need to take a rocket ship to get to outer space. Do you remember your sign for rocket ship? Show me your two fingers, wrap them around each other to make the letter R, put it at the launch pad, and blast it off to space. That's how we sign rocket ship. Well, I happen to have some rocket ships over here for my flannel board, so let's get them up on the board. We'll make sure we have enough for everyone to come with us to space. When I put my rocket ships up, you tell me what color it is, and I'll show you the sign for that color. Remember, when we use our hands to sign, it helps our brains to remember better and faster. Are you ready? Here we go. First up is a, what color rocket ship is that? That's right. It's a red rocket ship. Very good. Let's put another one on the board. <gasps> Next is an orange rocket ship. Very good. Let's do another one. How about a yellow rocket ship? Oh, I like that one a lot. Let's do this one next. What color is that? That's the color green. A green rocket ship. Should we do another one? Of course. Next, we have blue. That's right. This is our blue rocket ship. Okay, next we have, what color is this? That's right. That's our purple rocket ship. Let's do another one. <gasps> what color is that? That's right. It's a pink rocket ship. Very good. How about next? Oh, this is a black, a black rocket ship. Oh, what's going to be next? Oh, this time it's a white rocket ship. White rocket ship. One more rocket ship and I think we'll have enough. Are you ready? This is our last color and this one can be a little tricky sometimes, but this color is gray. The way we sign gray is to take both of our hands together and kind of shake them back and forth. Gray, a gray rocket ship. Now, let's count our rocket ships and make sure we have enough for everyone to go on an outer space adventure. Ready? 
One little, two little, three little rocket ships, four little, five little, six little rocket ships, seven little, eight little, nine little rocket ships, ten rocket ships blast off. Good job. All right. Now, in order to get the rocket ships to blast off to space, we have to count down from 10. Ready? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Let's go. One little, two little, three little rocket ships. Four little, five little, six little rocket ships. Seven little, eight little, nine little rocket ships. Ten rocket ships blast off into space. And off they go. Good job getting all the rocket ships ready for our outer space adventure. Let's see what's next. We did it. We made it to outer space. And look at what we see. We look out and we see the big sun, which is the star at the center of our solar system. And we look out and we can see our moon. And we can look back and see the planet Earth, which is where we live. And did you know that all of these things are doing a great dance out in the solar system? That's right, they're spinning and turning all the time. Well, this song is all about how the earth and the moon and the sun all do this great dance. It's called the solar system in motion, and it goes like this. We're gonna start with the planet earth. And did you know that the planet earth is spinning around in a circle every day? It takes one whole day for the earth to spin around. So we'll sing, the earth spins around, the earth spins around once a day, every day the earth spins around. Now, do me a favor, stand up and I want you to spin around in a circle just like the earth does. That's right, spin around just like the earth. And remember, it takes the earth one day to spin in a complete circle. Wow, that's really neat. Well, not only is the earth spinning like a ballerina, but spinning around the earth is the moon. The moon spins around the earth. And you know how long it takes the moon to go all the way around the earth one time? A month. So one day for the earth to spin around, one month for the moon to go around the earth. So let's sing. The moon spins round the earth. The moon spins round the earth. Once a month, every month, the moon spins round the earth. And you can see the moon looks like it changes shape as it travels around the earth. And that's because of the shadow it is cast on by the sun. All right, now the sun is spinning in a circle but also going around the sun while the moon spins around it and it's spinning itself is the earth. And so it goes like this. They're spinning and they're spinning and they're going all the way around the sun. And it's such a beautiful dance out in the solar system. And you know, it takes the earth and the moon one whole year to travel around the sun. That's right, so we'll sing. The earth spins round the sun, the earth spins round the sun. Once a year, every year, the earth spins round the sun. And you know what? The stars that fill outer space are sparkling and glittering the whole time. The stars are everywhere, the stars are everywhere. They fill up outer space, they do. The stars are everywhere. And that's the beautiful dance of our planet and our moon and our sun in the solar system. Well done, everyone. Our story today is adapted to the felt board from the picture book, Coyote Places the Stars by Harriet Peck Taylor. This story is based on an old Wasco Indian legend about how Coyote placed the stars in the sky to look like his friends. I think you'll love this story as we continue to have our outer space adventure. 
Our story begins in a canyon out in the desert where Coyote lived with his friends. He lived with his friend Bear and Eagle and Owl and Fish and Goat. Coyote loved to spend his days roaming through the canyons, sniffing the wildflowers and chasing the butterflies. His nights he loved spending gazing up at the stars in the sky. Well, one night he was gazing up at the stars as the big moon rose over the mountains. And the coyote said to his friend bear, I think I could climb to the moon. The bear scratched his big bear head and said, how would you do that? The coyote thought for a few more minutes and then made his plans. Now coyote was very skilled with a bow and an arrow. So he gathered his bow and a pile of arrows and he notched one arrow into his bow and pulled it back and aimed for the moon and let the arrow go. It whizzed through the night sky and landed right on the moon. Just like that. Then he took another arrow and did the same. Notched it in his bow and sent it flying through the night sky so that it landed just behind the arrow that went before it. One by one, he did that until all of the arrows made a ladder to Coyote down below. Well, Coyote decided he would climb that ladder up and up and up until he made it to the moon. Once on the moon, he sat for a minute and gazed at all of the stars in the heavens around him. As Coyote sat gazing at the stars, he began to wonder if he were to hit one with one of his arrows, would it move through the night sky? He began to wonder if he could place the stars where he wanted them. Well, he had a few arrows left, so he notched one again in his bow, pulled it back and let it go so that it went soaring through the night sky. And when it did, it hit a star and sent the star spinning through space to land just where the coyote wanted it. Coyote yelped and leaped for joy when he realized he could place the stars anywhere he wanted. Well, one by one, Coyote let loose his arrows and began to shoot the stars across the sky, making pictures as he went. The first thing he decided to make was the picture of a coyote in the stars, just like himself. Then he thought of his friend Bear and he moved the stars across the sky until they made the shape of a bear. He continued through this way all night long, making shapes in the stars of all of his friends. He made goat and he made eagle and he made owl and he even made the little fish. Coyote was very, very proud of all of his handiwork. And when he was done and he had run out of arrows, he climbed the ladder back down from the moon to earth. And once he reached earth, he was so tired from all of his adventures up among the stars that he slept for the whole of the next day. Coyote only woke up the next evening as the bright full moon rose in the night sky. He looked up at the stars as he always did at night. And this time he saw the great star pictures he had made in the sky. And his heart was so full that for the first time ever, he climbed to the side of the mountain and lifted up his head towards the moon and began to howl. Oh, oh, oh. And the wind carried his howl through the canyon. It was a magical and a mysterious sound and all of the canyon animals heard it and they thought the sound was calling them. So one by one, they began to follow the sound, the howl to where Coyote was. One by one, all of Coyote's friends came to the valley where Coyote stood howling at the beautiful moon and the star pictures in the sky. Owl flew in from the nearby trees 
and fish swam up river. Eagle flew over the moonlit mountains. Goat scampered down from the mountains above. And last but not least was Coyote's good friend Bear who lumbered in from his den. Coyote looked at all of the animals gathered there below and he told them what he had done. I have climbed a ladder to the moon and while I was there, I placed the stars in the sky so that they would each make a picture to honor my good friends, the canyon animals. And the animals looked up into the sky and they saw their shapes and they were so filled with joy that they cheered for Coyote, a great screech and a howl and a gurgle and a and a grumble, grumble, grumble. And they were so happy that they declared the coyote the most clever and crafty of all the animals. And still today, you might hear the howl of the coyote when the moon is full and the night is bright. And he howls to remind you to look up at the stars and see the pictures he placed there and to dream great dreams for yourself. And this is the story of how coyote placed the stars. Earlier in our space adventure, we talked about how the Earth, while it's spinning around, is also spinning around the Sun. And that happens because the Sun is the center of our solar system. But Earth isn't the only planet that's spinning around the Sun. In fact, there are eight planets in our solar system, all spinning around the same Sun. These are the names of the planets, and then we'll sing a song about them. They go like this. Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Those are the eight planets in the order that they circle around the sun. Let's sing this song about all of those planets that circle the sun. Here we go. Mercury. orbit the sun. Well done, you guys. Okay, we're here with our super simple craft for our outer space story time adventure. And what we're going to do is we're going to make construction paper constellations. And my daughter Erin is here with us. Erin, can you wave at everyone and say hi again? <laughs> there she is. And she's going to do this craft with me. It's really simple. All you need for this craft is some black construction paper, some chalk. Now we happen to have some small chalk, but if you have sidewalk chalk, that will work too. And then some star stickers. If you don't have star stickers, that's okay, because you can always draw the stars on your paper for your constellations. Okay, before we begin, I just wanna take a look. This is a book that we have about astronomy and outer space. And since we've had these big, powerful telescopes send us back all these amazing pictures from outer space, what we see is that there's some really amazing colors in outer space, right, Erin? Yes. Yeah, do you see some of the colors in this picture? What colors do you see here? Like this is 
some green and yellow. What color is this star here? Pink. It looks pink, yeah. So before we make our constellations, and we'll talk more about constellations in a minute, we need to get some of these really pretty colors in our space pictures. So to do that, we're gonna take our chalk and we're gonna put it flat on our paper and we're gonna rub it. And you can just do this any way you want, right? Rub it on the chalk, on the black construction paper. And then you're gonna layer color after color, right? Cause that's kind of what it looks like when we get these beautiful pictures from out in outer space. some color to hers but I'm gonna go ahead on to the next step and that is in order to make a constellation and a constellation is a star picture so just like in our story where coyote placed the stars we're gonna place stars on our picture and then we're going to draw like a line between the stars to make a shape and I mean who knows what kind of shape we're gonna come up with now you could plan a shape in advance right or you can just put stars down and see what you get okay so we're gonna put some stars here on our let see oh good yeah Aaron's gonna go star by star let's bring it up just a bit okay I'm gonna put all my stars down first and then I'll connect my dots and see what I get That looks good. And I'm gonna take yellow, but you can connect your dots with any color you really want, okay? Or connect your stars. I'm gonna connect my stars just like this. I got a square. You got a square? That's awesome. Yeah, look at that. Look at my picture. What does that look like to you? A fish! It looks like a fish! Do you know what? Coyote put a fish in the sky too with the stars in our story. Do you remember that? Yeah. I'm going to give my little fish a little star eyeball there. And that will be my constellation, my construction paper constellation. All right, so that's our super simple craft for today. Erin's going to keep working on hers, but we'll go ahead and get back to finishing up story time. I hope you guys enjoy it. Thanks for crafting along with us. I happen to live on the Space Coast, which means I live really close to Kennedy Space Center. I know many of you have probably seen rocket launches when the rockets shoot up through the sky and into outer space. We get to walk out of our front door and see rocket launches where I live. It's really fun. Sometimes I get to see them even closer. Recently, I was able to see one lift up at night. It was a night launch and I would love to share it with you. Check it out. With your child helps them develop new vocabulary, begin to understand the sequencing of events, and learn the power of narrative. Reading together for 20 minutes today is one of the best things you can do to help your child become a superstar reader tomorrow. Here are some of my favorite space-themed picture books for you to explore together. Moon's First Friends, One Giant Leap for Friendship written by Susanna Leonard Hill and illustrated by Elisa Paganelli. From high up in the sky, the moon has spent her whole life watching Earth and hoping for someone to visit. 
Dinosaurs roam, pyramids are built, and boats are made, but still no one comes. Will friends ever come to visit her? Then one day a spaceship soars from Earth, and so does her heart in this heartwarming story of a friendship-seeking moon that also celebrates the extraordinary 50th anniversary of the Apollo 11 moon landing. Maustronaut, written by astronaut Mark Kelly and illustrated by C.F. Payne. Astronaut Mark Kelly flew with the Maestronauts on his first space flight aboard Space Shuttle Endeavour in 2001. Maustronaut tells the story of a small mouse that wants nothing more than to travel to outer space. The little mouse works hard to show readiness for the mission and is chosen for the flight. While in space, the astronauts are busy when disaster strikes and only the smallest member of the crew can save the day. May Among the Stars, written by Rhoda Ahmed and illustrated by Stasia Burlington. When little May was a child, she dreamed of dancing in space. She imagined herself surrounded by billions of stars, floating, gliding, and discovering. She wanted to be an astronaut. Her mom told her, if you believe it and work hard for it, anything is possible. Little May's curiosity, intelligence, and determination matched with her parents' encouraging words, paved the way for her incredible success at NASA as the first African-American woman to travel in space. Skippy John Jones, Lost in Spice, written and illustrated by Judy Schachner. Buckle up, amigos. Everyone's favorite kitty boy is about to lift off. You'll want to be there when the brave Skippy John Jones gets lost in spice. That's right, spice. Skippy knows from his big ears to his toes that the planet Mars is red because it's covered in spicy red pepper. To prove it, he's off on a space jaunt replete with craters, crazies, and creatures from Mars. This rollicking romp is out of this world. Interstellar Cinderella, written by Deborah Underwood and illustrated by Meg Hunt. Once upon a planetoid, amid her tools and sprockets, a girl named Cinderella dreamed of fixing fancy rockets. With a little help from her fairy god robot, Cinderella is going to the ball. But when the prince's ship has mechanical trouble, someone will have to zoom to the rescue. Readers of all ages will thank their lucky stars for this fun fairy tale retelling, its clever heroine, and its stellar happy ending. Check out these interstellar books and more at the Orange County Library System by visiting www.ocls.info. That was a super fun outer space adventure we got to have today, wasn't it? I had so much fun with you. Do you remember what letter we used for our outer space adventure? That's right, we used the letter S. And the sound that the letter S makes is just like in sun and s stars and space. We had a lot of fun, didn't we? We were like astronauts. We got to climb aboard a rocket ship and blast off to the moon, didn't we? We had a great time. I hope you guys enjoyed this outer space adventure. Now, before we say goodbye, let's sing our song. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. Boom, boom. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. Boom, boom. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. Boom, boom. If you're happy and you know it, wave goodbye, goodbye. If you're happy and you know it, wave goodbye, goodbye. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, blow a great big kiss mwah, and wave goodbye. You guys, thank you as always for joining me for a story time online. We had a great adventure. Have a wonderful week and I'll see you soon. Bye. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to be the first to find out when we have new fun and informative videos for you. Orange County Library System is your place to learn, grow, connect.